It's everywhere. You see it on the news, in your newspaper, on the net. We're running out of oil. The use of coal and oil is at its highest peak in history. Energy prices are going through the stratosphere. We are dependent on non-renewable fossil fuels, what some call high carbon energy. And at the rate and way we're using energy, that might lead to irreversible damage. A global crisis is coming. What will we do? Will factories go silent? Homes dark? Economies grind to a halt? The world in chaos? Terra incognita? Or is there a map we can follow? Life on Earth has always emitted carbon dioxide, also known as CO2. We all exhale CO2. It's a natural component of the atmosphere, used by plants in photosynthesis to grow and thrive. Photosynthesis is driven by the sun, and the sun's light inspired us to create and control our own illumination, eventually creating the electric light bulb, which we powered by burning coal. We transformed our world with all those bulbs and the other electrical devices that followed. In addition to coal, we burned other fossil fuels, like oil and natural gas which produced a lot more CO2 than our planet can use and greatly increased our carbon footprint on the globe. CO2 in the atmosphere is measured in parts per million. But what does that mean when we can't actually see it? Imagine the carbon dioxide gas as a solid. Think of soot. Each year, we're emitting about 30 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide. If the carbon in that gas were soot, we could fill up about 40 million rail cars. Since the Industrial Revolution, we could have filled more than a billion rail cars, enough to encircle the Earth about 700 times. Today, the CO2 in the atmosphere is like a thick blanket around the Earth. And as the blanket grows heavier, the planet gets sicker. The symptoms are always in the news. Violent storms, floods, droughts and fires, melting ice caps and glaciers. 350 parts per million is the accepted carbon blanket in the atmosphere that would keep the planet livable for the human race. Prior to the Industrial Revolution, we were at 289 parts per million. By 2011, it grew to around 392 parts per million. In 2030, some predict we will exceed 450 parts per million. Experts say we face catastrophic losses for every living thing on Earth because our reliance on high carbon energy is jeopardizing our future. Plus, our population is set to grow to 9 billion by the year 2050. There are already 7 billion people on the planet today and 1.5 billion of them don't have access to modern electricity, but want it. So, if we are to satisfy present and future energy demands, and ensure our ability to thrive on planet Earth, we must examine cleaner and more efficient ways for the generation, distribution, and storage of electricity.